When Jesus had finished saying these things, he left Galilee and went to the region of Judea, but on the Jordan. Large crowds followed him, and he cured them there. Some Pharisees came to him, and to test him, they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? He said to them, It was because you were so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for unchastity and marries another commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If such is the case of a man with a with his wife, it is better not to marry. But he said to them, Not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. Then little children were being brought to him in order that he might lay hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them, but Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And he laid his hands on them and went on his way. Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, also you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young men said to him, I have kept all these, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to if you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astounded and said, Then who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Look, we have left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or fields, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. He said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, friend, I'm doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to the last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I chose with what belongs to me? Are you or are you so envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. While Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the 12 disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified. On, on the third day, he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons. And kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, what do you want? She said to him, 
Declare that these two sons of mine will sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, you do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, we are able. He said to them, you will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, that is not mine to grant, but it is for those whom it has been prepared by my father. When the 10 heard it, they were angry with the two brothers, but Jesus said, called to them, called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you and whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. As they were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. There were two blind men sitting by the roadside. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd sternly ordered them to be quiet, but they shouted even more loudly, Have mercy on us, Lord, son of David. Jesus stood still and called them, saying, Why do you, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. Move with compassion. Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they regained their sight and followed him.